Hello guys, welcome to the next video. I think this will be the second video today. <laughs> okay, one reason is actually uh, this uh, old dragon he's got. Focus. Okay. This, this is a uh, Romo. Uh, can't speak. Ramo head scalps that actually was hit on hit on this figure previously. Now I've co completed this figure figure together with this head scalp about I think about two years back or more than two years back slightly. Yeah. This head scalp was actually a, a old dragon item. Much like uh, Okay, much like much like this one. Focus. Focus. Okay, much like this one. Okay, this one this one are uh, out of the box until now appears to be to be a hard hard or hot or soft plastics then about a few years back I, I was thinking okay just detail over everything whatever is here just detail but it turns out that it's causing a lot of issues because uh, Old dragons like this one. Okay. They, they actually they actually have what I think is a toy color underneath. Then as a you know I only use enamels. But as as a uh, enamel and uh, uh, this uh, thinner goes on, it actually uh lifted lifted not say lifted lah, uh, actually cause uh, the oils underneath uh, to mix with whatever I uh, in so usually uh, the colors are not funny the other example is this uh, Rambo okay, this is an uh, original Rambo head sculpt I painted it over it but I think this one is not from Dragon hmm. I, I don't think it's from Dragon, it's from uh, another old figure I bought on, uh, on another lost sale. This one is uh, uh, later as I got as I go, go uh, researching on this uh, the figure that was given to me. It was known as a rocky rocky figure with a uh, grey sweatshirt, bell bottom jeans and a pointy yeah, like, uh, yeah. Italian shoes okay I also made a mistake of painting over it and then when it, it actually looks good uh, when it's painted but it turns it start to have this coloration and darken uh, over time okay. this one is also the same I can't do any I can't do anything uh, I can't do anything about it so actually after that after uh, give me a second uh, so after uh, that session where I do up this guy, I actually try a, another attempt uh, to to get this thing a detail, but no, I don't like the result. So actually, I dunk a wrong bottle. Actually, I dunk the whole thing into a, 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 a jar of uh, paint in there. Strip off everything and start and start uh, afresh from uh, what whatever the bad surface. Okay, one one thing about one thing about uh, I can let get put you, put you guys understand. Uh. I think by and by by and by I do a start and finish uh, on 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 his his stuff his stuff like that. Uh, now from. Then right now, right now the head scalp itself is actually a very soft. It's actually vinyl. Okay, 
Okay, the method I use is actually not to prime over it or whatever it actually I use the method that I use on to do up seamless body like that bodies like that it's instead of painting painting over the painting over uh, painting over the surface with primer everything everything what you see here is actually done uh, by what I, what I call how to describe it it's something like uh, the dyeing method you dye you dye the you dye you dye color into into the into the vinyl okay. but I don't do ice this is a actually a very simple affair of uh, flat white Okay, flat white. Then after that, uh, the ice with this. Of course, my of course follow my following my follow after what follows is actually my SOP of uh, picking out the 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 leads. But basically, what you have is here. Okay, right now I think I think I think I think I think my my I think I think I think I think I got got to get me a new surface thing. <laughs> okay, so what happens after that episode, the previous episode? Give me a second. Uh. Maybe I get some I get the windows open. Uh, get some artificial lights. Give me, give me another five seconds. Turn on the fan. Open the door. Okay, I'm back. No, as I as I I'm back. So actually, as I'm uh, on on the previous posting inside the description, actually I mentioned that while waiting for the waiting for everything to be uploaded, I actually dunk this thing in. Then the other thing I mentioned is, uh, and in that session, it's not a matter of matching both figures okay in in a uh, wet weathering especially the colors and shades it's actually done with this guy matched to this diorama so when this two guy is up to a stage this guy will be matched uh, to to everything why okay quite simply is because this this one was actually completed as a lone, st lone standing figure with basically a uh, I think a matte black wash as a primary color. This one, as you see me on the dark on the on camera, uh, in the previous episode, it was actually done with Tamiya How Red and uh, Brown, Tamiya Brown. Right, so the shades is a bit different. So right now, right now, I have to work with artificial lights. Because it's dark stormy covers get it. So let me see you guys in focus. Get the view of the better view of the and we continue on. Ah I think I better switch on the saving light and see what happens. I think we have better lighting. Okay, so we're so we're continuing from here. Uh, okay. I actually I'm, I was going to, I was going to pry pry off this uh this the this uh, dragon socket. But I thought uh, since it's going to be a build diorama, then uh I won't fiddle with this one. I just 
got out whatever whatever it was inside okay then I'll, I'll just support you to support you on okay what one thing to know now why this thing uh, was not done on camera I have previously done uh, another head scout uh, this way Gunny himself okay, okay this Gunny This gun was is actually actually also done this way. Okay, it's stripped to the bare, it's stripped to the bare, bare vinyl. Then the reason I have to do this on camera is to save to save time. Because as this uh, as this, when this thing was dug on dug onto the the paint thinner, uh, it will take maybe about one two hours. Then after one two hours, the vinyl actually bloated up, up to a point uh, that uh, the original cap that I use I uh, can't even be put on. I had I had to put on I had to wait uh, that that few hours, that few hours uh, for for the vapor to disappear. I think I think I, there's there's still uh, there, there's some that I still can smell. Okay, so basically. This is this is also one of those uh, quick uh, quick paint job. Now, like what I told you, like what I told you guys are previously. I'm building this thing for fun, mostly. Okay, sometimes I do take, I do get a commission commission job where I go go out all out. But usually, uh, usually, uh, figures and drama like that, I do it. To this stage, I actually do it for fun. Quite simply, that ah, uh, if I build were to build out of the box, or, or just build a big figure from scratch without doing anything, I can easily do a few uh, in one day. So, but where's where, where's the fun in that? Who who wants to build a who wants to build a those are uh, you know. Those are uh, let it dry. Let, let it dry. Who wants to build figures like this? Go straight out of the box. Then after that, they just stand funny, look funny. Then uh, they are all, you know they are all over the place. This is why this is why I uh, in the last episode I was actually renting renting at the at the manufacturer about about the 30 cents paint in the 1970s. I mean nowadays uh, nowadays if you are going for a whole sp uh, spectrum of paints, you could you could easily you know spend uh, more than a, the co the cost of more than a, a new figure uh, on one small plastic bag of a hobby pin is is ridiculous then for me uh, it's actually not the way to go okay yeah it's dry so manufacturer actually needs, needs to needs to be a bit more pro proactive uh, in pro promoting their products not in terms of advertisement or what. Do what ethics ethics humble did now when they are uh, do what they did now. Give me a few seconds. Do maybe uh, do what they did now in the in the in, in the sixties in the seventies. Get some items uh, like hobby 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 paints into their this uh, advertising budget. Make them uh, almost not say free. Free, I think uh, it's most most people will misuse the the system. Okay, maybe we reco re recover recover uh, some cost. Recover some cost, then uh, I think uh, I think I pick this thing out uh, in better light, in better light. 
Yeah, I think I think I pick this thing out with the light. But in the meantime, we'll get the uniforms more in line with this one. Which I don't think I'll even do it now. Quite simply is because the lighting is so bad. Okay, but many bum bum uh, never mind. We will get some work done. Yeah, we will get some work done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The first color obviously is actually silver to pick off items like this one. Yeah. Like this one. Okay. This one was done. Uh, uh, this one was done uh, off camera as well. It's quite a simple, simple thing of you know going over it, uh, dry brushing, dry brushing mm -hmm. over the thing, which I was going to pick out, go to the next stage uh, in this episode, but I don't think uh, the camera, the, the the weather allows me to do that. So we do what we could. This is actually to dry brush those uh, those uh, things like boots. Those are uh, the the whatever weapon he has, the binoculars. I think this, I, I think I'll end this ex session uh, super quick. Maybe a uh, half an hour, forty minutes. Because I, I really don't feel comfort don't feel comfortable uh, doing this under this light. Okay, so that is that. Keep this, then we we'll proceed with the two car. The these two color that I use for this, which actually I ran out of. So what color was it? Give me a give me a few seconds. Okay, for this color is actually for this what is inside this better bottle is actually flat brown. Except then what is inside this bottle is actually how red XF9 with two two browns Did 
I misplaced my bottle. Yeah, I think I misplaced my open bottle of the brown. Or did I throw it away by mistake? <laughs> that is the question. I think this is the third bottle I was looking for. So with this bottle we'll make it into a wash. Fill it up with with used dinner. Almost to the rim. Even this, I think it will be too thick. Get more in. Can we use this one? Yep. Okay, we 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 use this one and this one. Okay, we'll match this one to this one. Remember, uh, this one was done two years back. Primary is uh, black and grey on the shadow part. So the, the colour and shade is actually very, very different. It does, they does, not, does not match. So right now, it's actually... The, the, the usual SOP, the shadow area, the creases. Now, both, both sets of uniform has undergone this uh, PVA treatment. But as one six, one six go, I sell them, I sell them a prior uh, not dry, dry, I seldom dry, dry brush although Ramos was actually dry brush after wash but in 1.6 actually I seldom, seldom dry brush my uniform I'm trying to I am trying to get the of course the shadow area, shadow area but I'm trying also trying uh, to preserve you know the 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 look of the uh, the look of a uh, real craft. Okay, the seam. Now bear, bear in mind this thing is actually has actually been weathered but to a different shade it's actually a uh, black flat, uh, flat black uh, diluted flat black so right now actually I'm I'm trying to introduce uh, a bit of brown inside not trying uh, I'm actually I'm actually introducing a bit of brown inside. Tamiya how red? Under the 
I have no idea what what color is what what is the what is happening because the lighting is actually very bad. Okay, along the same lines. Okay, and with the with the same with the same uh, color wash, go over the go over the binoc binoc binoculars. Uh, Services. The leather that the leather that I just picked out, but not the wooden uh, the wooden uh, the wooden container. This is a screwdriver. The wooden container that's underneath. Session here. I can't do. I can't see anything here. I can't see the effects of. I can't see the effects of what I'm doing. I actually don't need don't need that much. Just just a, a slight switch from this uh not switch uh, actually uh have have the have the cut the colors and shade of brown added added on. I think we I think we'll see from the. I'll see you on a ferret. And this shall be my new bottle of brown. Where is my marker? Okay. I, I think I will just finish finish off on, on, on this. Singapore has been experiencing uh, some very very wild weather. You can have sunshine in the sunshine uh, five minutes before heavy rain uh, the, the next half an hour and gloomy weather for the next two weeks. Sunny tropical Singapore. Okay, all my six figures, their whether it's diorama or freestanding, and their joints, their joints are not are not glued together. The wrist joint or every joint is not glued together. For me, that is a that is the a characteristic of a one six figure. The joints move. Those figures that you see me drop test are two three feet down. Those who actually uh, have still have their jo joint uh, in the uh, working order. Yeah, the shiny, shiny, shiny red band. These two tunics are actually the the tunic are actually of the same same uh, material. Different brand. This is a dragon. This is a Ultimate Soldier Twenty First Century. But they are of the same type. Very very thick canvas for one six. Yep. 
Okay, I think we'll end the we'll end the session here without actually showing you guys anything. So uh, how to how to show you guys anything? The lighting is so bad. Okay, so basically what we have here. What we have here in artificial lights is actually the work was done uh, uh, at the last at the, at the last session. Focus. I'm trying right now. I'm trying to match Ramo. Yeah, Ramo in shades. This guy. Okay, I think we'll end it. we'll end this thing here. I think we'll end this thing here. Then I pick up pick up tomorrow. Take it, let's take another good look at this uh, the head scalp. It's not it's not more on more on painting uh, on vinyl. It's more like staining a uh, staining a uh, uh, vinyl surface. Okay, and I, and I don't do eyes. My eyes cannot my eyes cannot pick up the details. And the eyes are the eyes are done uh, using the paws. Use the force, Duke. Use the force. Yes, master. Okay, uh, I tell you what, I, I'll get this technique down. Uh, uh, after some practicing, then I'll do a session, a full session uh, on doing this thing from head to toe. Of minus, of course, on uh, dunking this thing, uh, a head scalp like that, into this one. Because that one soak just soaking in uh, take a few take a few hours uh, to get most of the paint paint off a few hours. Okay, I think by and by I do a do a session on this one on, on not the painting of of a uh, vinyl haze scalp but the staining of a vinyl haze scalp. Start to finish. Okay guys, see you and then we will end the video here at 33 minutes. Okay guys, see you.